Hey folks, here's a um, here's a little video to help out with the 5.4 exercises. The first exercise was really easy, so you can get that one probably with the getters. This one has a little more going on, so I wanted to talk about it. First of all, we're going to be basically writing a dragon class. Um, so they force upon you a string attack and um, a level. Okay, so we're going to have to make a constructor. It says um, the constructor should take the level as the first argument and the attack as the second argument. So when you write a constructor, you always want to make sure you start with public, right? And then you use the class name, public dragon. And then they said we want our uh, level. So you can say like uh, the level and string, oops, uh, the attack. So we can do that. Um, and inside here, what to do, it basically um, is going to say, okay, I'm going to set a uh, level to whatever someone enters in as the level and attack as whatever someone enters in the attack. There we go. Okay. So somebody can enter in their own attack, their own level will get stored for a dragon object. Okay, and then getters um, are also known as accessors, right? That's a fancy name, but getters is what normal people call them. So anytime you have a private variable, you need to give somebody, and you want to give somebody a chance to be able to change them, you have to put getters in there, right? So these also have to be public methods. Um, so public, you're going to do get um, level. Um, and the only thing you have to be careful about in here is you have to make sure after the word public and before the method name, you match the variable type of your um, instance variable. So we're going to make sure you say int for this one. And because its only purpose of a getter is to return something. It's super easy to write. You always just re write return level. The only thing you could mess up is probably forgetting that, and that would be bad. So I did it for this one. You can do it for attack, I'm sure. And then methods, they ask you to write a method called fight, which should return a string that repeats the attack string once for each level. Okay, so that to me sounds like a, a loop, right? So I'm going to say a public because it's a, it's a method and our method should be public. Our instance variable should be private. So I'm going to say public um, string because it told me that. It said it should return a string. Um, public string fight and our fight method should uh, maybe be a for loop um, for uh, int i equals zero and i less than um, level because if I want it to happen level times I can start at zero and it goes the number of times um, and then I plus plus. Oh, did I put a comma here? Shoot. Um, and then what do I want to do? I want to system out print line, or not print line, just print, because they said if you had an arrow as your fight, or arrow as your um, attack, it would do attack six times just next to each other. So I want a regular print. Um, and then what am I going to print every time? I'm going to print the whatever they typed in for attack. Um, so my attack feature. And I think that would work. It would print sideways. It would use whatever they typed in. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would work. I would have to actually, you know, finish the getters and stuff to be able to do that. Um, and then... Try that out. 
uh, finish this up and hopefully that works for you. So this next one's pretty similar, um, so we won't do all of it. Uh, the constructor is going to use these three variables. Um, it does say um, that it wants the name as the first argument, the level as the second, and then the can breathe fire is based on the dragon's level. If it's 70 or higher, it can breathe fire, um, meaning it'll be true or else it's false. So we'll kind of set that one up because that's a little weird, but I like it. So we're going to say public dragon. Um, and then we're going to say the first argument is the level. So that was an int the level. If I can spell it. Um, and then we got string uh, the name. And then um, that's it. You don't have to put nobody's telling what the breathe fire it's dependent on the level okay so it's, it just has two arguments um so you know you're going to say level equals the level so the beginning part's pretty similar to last time right uh, the name or sorry name <coughs> equals the name but the third one should be an if statement right an if um, <clears throat> the level is greater than or equal to 70, then we're going to set um, can breathe fire equals true, right? And else, there's other ways to do this too. But else uh, can be can breathe fire equals false. This way is just uh, easy to tell what I'm doing for other people. Um, you could have also set it to false originally and just made it turn true if that was true. Um, anyway, so all right, and then you can do the getters because those are pretty easy. Um, the method called attack doesn't return anything. Um, but if the dragon can breathe fire, it should print all this weird looking fire, um, stuff. So it's 10, 14, 14, 10, just copy paste it. Um, so this will be another if else, and you can just make it based off of the, you know, can breathe fire. So you'd be like, um, what is this method attack? So public attack, avoid because it's not returning anything, it's just printing. Um, so public void attack, on this one, you're going to you know, just say like, if can be breathe fire. Did I spell it right? Yeah, I did. If can breathe fire, you know, do that crazy stuff, else, um, do this stuff. So you should be able to do that. And then you got to make another method called gain experience uh, that doesn't take any parameters. So if you had an object, you'd say like dragon one dot gain experience. Um, and it adds 10 numbers to the dragon level and updates can breathe fire if necessary. So you could say like, you can copy paste this thing here right um oh maybe i should change that to level yeah i think i should because later on if i want to use level the level is kind of a a local variable so it wouldn't know what the level is down here but it would definitely still know what level is because it's written up here in the class so anyway you're going to make another method um, called public uh, void gain experience because you're not returning anything you're just changing a variable um, and it's updating your old thing so gain experience would say okay um, level equals let's do plus equals 10 
right? It adds 10, and then you can copy paste your if else to double check. Um, does it, is it greater than 70 now? If it is, it's going to turn can read fire to true. If not, it'll leave it as false. You probably don't even need the else on that one because it already would be false if it wasn't to 70. Um, anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, give that a try, and uh, yeah, should be good. This is, these are kind of good things here.